Do you need a little bit more forgiveness? Maybe replace those longer irons in your bag. Well, if that's the case, stay tuned for this video as we compare the new 2021 hybrids. Hey golfers, I'm Thomas Campbell and I'm joined by Jackie Johnson. Both of us are master club fitters at Second Swing and Jackie's going to be hitting some hybrids for me today. Jackie, are you excited to test some forgiveness? Yes, I'm definitely excited to test some forgiveness. Now you play hybrids instead of your longer irons, correct? Yep, I have a five iron and then I go to a five hybrid. Perfect, so Jackie's going to be the perfect candidate today. Hybrid for me is like my 15th club. I do have it, but I never play it in my bag. I play it as a utility club. So this is gonna be a great test, getting Jackie's feedback on which club is maybe a little more forgiving, a little easier to hit. Jackie, are you excited to hit some golf shots? I'm excited, let's go. That one sounded good. That was better. So Jackie, we started with the Apex Hybrid. What do you think of that club? Uh, first thing I noticed is just a you know, little bit more offset than I'm used to. So it's a little bit different. Um, but you know, when I hit it well, uh, it felt pretty good. Yeah, you had three shots you hit pretty well, but I could definitely tell you were struggling with the size of the club head. You mentioned it's a little bit larger than kind of what you're used to. Yeah. It's a forgiving hybrid, definitely is. And, one of the things I noticed with it is, yeah, you had a bit of a range in height. So you notice on average it was 47 feet in the air, but the consistency was plus or minus 11. So you had some good shots over here that, you know, for example, flew a little bit higher. Even, even that one was still pretty low, um, 63 feet there as well. So kind of interesting, you had the ones over there to the left that were pretty low. So my only concern with this one was definitely the height. It was pretty low across the board. We want with a hybrid to get that thing to carry a little bit further and get up, up in the air. So I'm going to be interested to test how the others compare there as well. So Jackie, I'm not going to lie. It seemed like you seemed more comfortable looking down at this club. Yeah, I used to have um, ping hybrids, so a little bit more comfortable with it for sure. Yeah, I mean, you just, yeah, you can see your dispersion pattern was definitely a little bit tighter. You had four shots there that were very, very close to the middle across the board there as well. A little bit more ball speed, a little bit more club speed. Once again, your smash factor was pretty good there as well. It's kind of interesting. I was expecting to maybe fly a little bit higher. If we take a look at the height here, it's still fairly low. So you've also told me instead of a three hybrid, you play a five wood, correct? Yep. So five wood may help get the ball up in the air. So we're doing a hybrid test today, we're going to comparing three hybrid versus three hybrid. But this is a good conversation to have with your club fitter because you don't have to play a hybrid. You could definitely play a wood instead if you're having a hard time getting the ball in the air. So far, it seems like it's fairly low. Nothing wrong with that depending on the golf course you're playing. But if you're playing with firm greens and you're trying to land it on the green, we'll notice what happened to your carry and total distance when the ball was a little bit lower. Is it just you had a harder time stopping it? It was quite the range. It was about 30 to 40 yards of rollout with both those clubs there too. So really depends on what you're looking for. Say more forgiving with the G G425 Max than the Apex 21. But let's hit a couple others. Right. That was higher. So Jackie, I just want to talk about that last shot. I, was, I know I was mentioning height. So yeah. this, this shot here, notice quite a bit higher than the others. The others were in the 40 category. Notice what happened to your carry and total distance. You can see there you pull out the dispersion pattern, your total, but then your, your carry distance was definitely kind of up there a little bit further there too. So that's what I was talking about with regards to height. Important to get the ball to get up the, in the air just a little bit further to carry a little bit further. Nice. So Jackie, how did the Sim 2 Max feel? I mean, I liked it a lot. Uh, just the pop off the club. It's a little bit just you know, at address, the head is smaller, so a little bit more confidence uh, for me. I, I mean, I, I play the Sim Hybrid in my five again, so similar look, so I think that's a little bit to do with it too, just a little bit more confident with it too. 
Yeah, the one thing that interests me was if you look at the, the ball speed, the G425 Max ball speed was a little bit higher than Sim 2 Max. But if you go over here to the right, and I'll, I'll keep talking about height being really important, but if you look at your carry distance, you are carrying the ball about eight yards further, going three yards further, even for a little bit less ball speed, it comes down to the height. So height is definitely important. So when you're looking at hybrids, you definitely want to try and get that landing angle and that height a little bit higher so you can give yourself that stopping power and give yourself that ability to get the ball to go a little bit further. Because gapping distance is important, and you're going to get there by getting that little extra height. So that was, that was pretty good. I was impressed with that. There you go. And Jackie finishing off with the TSI-2. This hybrid has only just recently come out. It's a little bit later compared to the other three. How did this feel? Yeah, it definitely felt good. Uh, felt pretty similar to the sim in terms of feel. So I also like the look to it. Again, a little bit slimmer, um, kind of like the sim as well. So definitely at a dress, I was a little bit more confident with it. And another thing is, I mean, I used to play Titleist hybrids. So again, you know, something I used to play. So very confident in it. Yeah, it performed pretty well. One thing I kind of noticed, and this is unique because the TSI hybrid loft on it is actually 18 degrees on the three hybrid. Well, all the other three has 19 degrees of loft on it. So what we kind of noticed is the ball speed was a little faster and the spin rate was a little bit lower, uh, even though you didn't swing as fast. So that's one thing, loft is kind of influencing that there too. But I do want to just ask you really quickly, comparing these four hybrids, just touch a little bit more on the look, at, look of them. Um, if one looks larger than the other, one looks smaller than the other, just kind of maybe rank them kind of from largest looking to smallest looking, just so our viewers understand kind of what the, the hybrids look like. Yeah, I mean, uh, the G425 and the Callaway Apex are very similar in size, uh, even from here. I mean, a little bit different shape, but overall they're definitely bigger than the other two. Um, the Sim 2 and the TSI 2 are honestly like pretty dang similar. They look just from the bottom, they're very similar, and then from the top line, pretty similar. Obviously a little bit different in color, but there's definitely a noticeable difference between the two, um, you know, between the Sim Max and the TSI2 versus the G425 and the Callaway Apex. Uh, you know, look does have something to do with it when it comes to confidence, so I definitely felt more confident with the two that I hit the, the best. Um, and then, you know, obviously the G425 and the Callaway Apex wasn't that I necessarily hit it bad, but I wasn't as comfortable with them, so. Well, thanks for the feedback, Jackie. Let's dive into the numbers a little bit before we kind of finish up here today. So as I mentioned, uh, club speed, the fastest with the Sim 2 Max, slowest with the Apex 21, but you'll notice that the efficiency was a little higher with TSI 2 and G425 Max. So 1.5, 1.5, 1 1.5 the Apex 21 and Sim 2 Max is 1.49. Now we're talking these are exceptionally good numbers. I mean, you're talking very, very efficient across the board, which is awesome. Uh, one thing I kind of noticed here, kind of a range in spin rate. TSI 2, it does have the lowest amount of loft, as I mentioned, 18 degrees of loft. You can adjust them. We didn't adjust them. We just kind of kept them at this standard lie and loft. But you'll notice spin rate 2750. The other end of the spectrum, Apex 21, was spinning 34, 34. So Little, little bit of difference, it's going to get to the, the hole a little bit differently. It's going to stop a little faster with the more spinning club, and the lower spinning club is going to release out a little bit and go a little bit further. So you've got to notice that the TSI 2 did actually go the furthest, 207 yards, which total distance is pretty, pretty far. She carried the furthest with the Sim 2 Max, so we touched on the height. So height is really kind of that important piece. You'll notice the Sim 2 Max was flying the highest out of them all. So it was carrying the furthest, the TSI-2 was just running out the furthest there as well. So Apex-21 was just a little bit behind with regards to carry in total as we were testing. He had three that you hit pretty well up there on the right there, but if you're going to look at these circles over here on the right side, you know, I'd always ask you, hey, which circle looks best to you? Now we're talking about carry distance. We look at total distance there as well. It's kind of interesting that the TSI-2 was maybe consistently a little bit further with regards to distance there. But carry distance is important as well. Look at, looking at these two, two circles, is it one that you like better? Yeah, the purple. Um, yeah, the purple and the blue are definitely the top two. 
Yeah, I would agree. The purple and the blue are definitely in the top two. You've got some nice shots total distance with the purple, nice shots carry distance with the purple, and then the blue, you'll notice, as I mentioned, are pretty similar with regards to total distance there. So that's showcasing the forgiveness a little bit if you catch it on the toe or the heel. So we're kind of roll, rolling out about the same distance, which is kind of important there as well. So, yeah, I would say, you know, if we're going to rank them, Sim 2 Max and the TSI 2, they were probably the best hybrids that you hit here today. But keep in mind, when you come in for a club fitting, a second swing, it's going to be different. Everyone's going to hit the clubs differently all the time. So make sure you come on into second swing to get fit and figure out which hybrid is best for you. Jackie just illustrated which hybrid is best for her, and I appreciate her for talking about the look and the feel. But make sure you come on in. We'd love to help you to find your newest hybrid in your bag and maybe replace a long iron out of your bag as well. So thanks for watching. Come on in and get fit like a pro.